Hello Libra, welcome to a reading all about how your person is currently thinking uh, and feeling about you and what are their intentions towards you. As always, these readings are meant to be general, so take what resonates for you, what applies to your situation uh, and leave the rest. Thank you so much for being here. I hope that um, this reading resonates for you. Welcome if you're new to my channel. And thank you to everyone who has subscribed and keeps checking back. I really appreciate it. So let's jump into your reading, Libra. Spirit Angels. For Libra. The person that Libra is thinking about or connecting with Spirit. What are their current energies towards Libra? energies towards Libra. Let's see what we get. Strength, Leo energy, temperance, Sagittarius energy, and the page of pentacles. Hmm. I'm getting patience. This person is being very patient right now and taking their time. Page of pentacles, they have an offer for you. This could be something as simple as Let's go on a date or uh, a promise that they make to you, but it's with the intention of more. It's a little more serious, the Page of Pentacles. Temperance, interesting. Okay, I have the Eight of Cups at the bottom of the deck. So maybe you walked away from this person in the past. Maybe they've walked away from you. Uh, maybe someone is thinking about walking away from an existing connection, we'll see. Um, when we keep um, digging here, you could be dealing with a Leo, a Sagittarius, or someone that has those signs in their chart. It doesn't have to be. It's really more about the energy here. Strength. This could be somebody that has the courage, the strength to um, take things slow or to resolve something. Because temperance is about mixing two very different things to create harmony and balance. Um, and sometimes I think of this card as someone that is slowly resolving a conflict, bringing back harmony. What else do we need to know about this person's energy? This person that's Sagittarius, not Sagittarius. This is not a Sagittarius reading, a Libra reading. <laughs> I'm looking at temperance. Tell me about the energies of this person that Libra is dealing with. Spirit, what are their energies? Walking away shows up again, secret admirer. Someone definitely walked away, I feel, from this connection. It could have been recently or forever ago. Far apart. Yeah, and there's distance now. Um, this could be a long distance connection, but I'm getting that there's distance between you to the point that someone's admiring you from afar with secret admire, um, keeping tabs on you um, because there's distance. There's a separation between you and this person. Okay, let me get one more. Can I get one more energy for this person? One more energy, please, for this person that Libra is, has, or will be doing. What do we need to know? Cancer, ruled by the moon, that's chariot energy. And Aries, ruled by Mars, that's the emperor. Okay, you could be dealing with someone that has Cancer or Aries in their chart, but I'm getting somebody that's, um, I mean, Cancer and Aries to me are like opposites. <laughs> um, I feel like this person is extremely motivated, but also careful. Whoever this is, whoever you're dealing with here. And I have a feeling it's because of whatever happened between you. Um, Aries could be impulsive. Um, Aries could be people that kind of jump to, to, to things and like get out there and put themselves out there and take action. But cancers are a little bit more measured. Um, I think cancers are a little more thoughtful and a little bit more emotionally driven. So I think this person is both, you know, they're driven by emotion, but also by desire, by need. So let's see what else we get. Tell me about strength. Why is strength here? 
Why is strength here? Queen of Wands, Aries, Leo, Sagittarius. Why is strength here? Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I feel like this person is um, outside. You know, like they don't have access. Yeah, the Hermit, Virgo energy. They don't have access to you. They're like on the outside looking in this person and they're thinking about you a lot. Uh, again, I get this energy of someone that's very interested in you, passionate. Um, and, you know, I feel like with strength, they're like trying to get something done. Because strength is all about bringing something back into submission or using a different approach to bring something into control. So anyways, I feel like this person is thinking about you planning on how to address this uh, situation that they find themselves in. The Ace of Swords tells me that they're going to be, um, I think, opening the lines of communication here, having a serious talk, or there's some sort of truth or clarity that they've received uh, while they've been kind of on their own thinking about you. Tell me about temperance. Seven of Wands. Tell me about temperance. Yeah, this person knows. There's the Page of Pentacles and Death card, Scorpio energy. This person knows that they cannot rush this with you. They know they have to take their time. I don't know what happened between you and this person, but they know that whatever ending happened between you, whatever changed your dynamic, it's like they can't just rush in and, and, and tell you exactly what they want and kind of just like force this or, or you know, they have to take their time with it. Page of Pentacles shows up again. So tell me about this Page of Pentacles. What's this Page of Pentacles about? Yep. And see, they're, they're a Page of Pentacles with the idea of like this big offer being given to you eventually or that's the ultimate goal. Tell me about the Page of Pentacles. Uh, what this tells me is that this person's serious. Yeah, three of wands and six of wands. It's like, I will wait for my victory. I will take my time. I will wait for the results. I will start slow. I will make my intentions clear. And then Libra and I can slowly build again and have success as a couple. Tell me more about this six of wands. Yeah, six of cups. I think that this person is hoping that the past can be resolved. Oh my God. Jeez. Where was this? I forgot now. Yeah, here. Okay, so let's get a little bit more insight. Oh, <laughs> my cards all shifted and that always drives me nuts. Okay, let's get a little bit of insight onto this person's energies towards you. Tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about how this person is thinking, feeling when it comes to Libra. Tell me more about how they're thinking, feeling when it comes to Libra. At night, I think of you. What else? You're always on my mind. Yeah, I'm telling you, they're always thinking about you. I would take it all back if I could. Yeah. This person, all they do is think about you, uh, Libra. They're very serious about your connection. Um, I think they're planning and thinking, and I, I don't think that they're doing well with the fact that there's a distance between you. What are their intentions towards Libra? What are this person's intentions towards Libra? What are their intentions? Oh, I got three already. Seven of Wands, Five of Wands, and Ace of Cups. Once again, I feel like this person is going to fight for this. Um, there's the world at the bottom of the deck. Yeah. This person, it's like, I'm going to have my new beginning with Libra. I'm just going to take my time and resolve whatever issues we have that exist. Whatever problems, whatever drama, whatever it is, I'm not giving up on Libra. Tell me about the Five of Wands. Six of Swords. Yeah, something happened, some sort of fight, drama, conflict that drove someone away. Tell me about the Seven of Wands. Yep, and they're going to fight for this new beginning, like I was just saying. Ace of Wands and Seven of Wands. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Tell me about this Ace of Cups. Yeah, and the world. Exactly. Eight of Pentacles at the bottom of the deck. And make no mistake, this person's definitely focused 
on doing things right. I don't think this is someone that's going to rush. I don't think this is someone that is going to do anything impulsive without planning, without thinking. Um, they don't want to push you is what I'm getting. It's like they just want to prove themselves to you that they're serious about you. For some reason, you don't take them seriously, Libra. And feel free to let me know if that's resonating for you in the comments. Um, because I feel like this person is constantly thinking about how to fix this. Um, at night, I think of you. That's that hermit energy. I feel like this person secretly keeps tabs on you, thinks about you, wants you. Um, but it's not just enough to want you and to keep tabs on you. Things need to be made right in this person's mind. Now, I, I think some of you that I'm speaking to, this departure hasn't been complete yet. It's almost like it started, but it's not completely over between you. And so this person is trying to avoid this departure. And make no mistake, I would take it all back if I could. This person knows they had a part to play here. They know that they're somewhat responsible for what has happened. Can I get a stellar soulmate? Oracle. If you're interested in any of the decks that I'm using, these are all my own decks and they're uh, linked in my website and in the description box. Okay, tell me more, Spirit. Tell me more about this person's energies towards the Libra. What do we need to know? What do we need to know about this person's energies towards Libra? I know deep down that you are my one true love. Oh, yeah. They are very serious. Let me see what's at the bottom of the deck. Even though we are apart, our souls are united. Well, they hope that for sure. They hope that's the case. <laughs> because the, this distance thing, it's not working for this person. I, Libra, this person's like super into you. And it's not just um, a young, immature desire. No, this is somebody that is very serious about their intentions towards you of course it's going to be up to you what you decide to do but make no mistake this is someone that's thinking about bringing you an offer with long-term uh, implications <laughs> so let me know if that resonates for you in the comments uh like the video if you enjoy how i read or if you enjoy the reading subscribe if you haven't already so you can see more content from me those are all free ways that you can support what I do here. Thank you so much to anyone that takes the time out of their day to do that. And hopefully I will see you all in another video very soon. Take care.